Hello and welcome to another Stack Team App Help video. In this video, we'll show you how to import members into your app. This is the recommended method for organizations that already have a name and email database for their respective members. Once you've watched this video, it'd be great if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the alerts button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Importing members can only be done by the website dashboard at stackteamapp.com. The first step before importing members is to create access groups. These enable you to import members into specific groups to help streamline communication. You can easily create access groups via the access groups tab via your dashboard and have as many as you wish. When posting content or creating events, you can then choose which access groups receive that information. For more information about creating access groups, click on the link in the description below to watch our access groups video. Once you've created the access groups, to find the import members feature, go to the admin dashboard, then select members. Then to the right, select the three dots, then choose import members. Here you will find lots of useful information and step-by-step -step instructions on how to import members. When importing members, you must use one of our two CSV templates to ensure the data imports successfully. For adult members only, download the blank CSV file. If you're importing parents and child members, use the youth template. If you are importing adult members only, when putting data into the template, you only need to put in the name and email address. These are the only two compulsory fields. Everything else is optional. We recommend adding in the access group titles you want each group member to be imported into. You can add them to a single access group or multiple access groups using a comma to separate them. Importing members with an email address will not create a duplication if that member already exists in your Stack Team app member list. When importing child members with the youth template, they don't need an email address. You can enter primary guardians who will receive content for any access group their child belongs to. Primary guardians can also act in the app on behalf of their child for things like RSVPs. Additional contacts are called non-primary guardians. These might be other family members such as grandparents, and they'll only have view-only rights. We recommend adding one or more access groups for each child. The guardians won't be imported into the group, but will get content by the way of their alignment with the child. Other information entered into the youth template should only be for the child and not for the parents. You can use the youth template to make alignments of new or existing guardian members to child members, but please be aware, whilst memberships containing an email won't be duplicated when imported, any memberships you import without an email, such as a child, will create a duplication if that member already exists in your app. Once you've completed your bulk import CSV, Save it to your computer, then go back to the Import Members tab, then drag it or click on the button to upload the file and then press Save. Then select All Rows and hit the Save button. Upon completion, any member bulk imported with an email will be sent an email invitation, just the same as if you were to add them individually. This will advise them that they've been added to your team with easy instructions on how to download Stack Team App and become a registered app member. If they don't download Stack Team App, They'll remain a manual member and get content sent to them via email only. Thanks for watching another Stack Team App Help video. As always, if you have any questions about importing members or any other feature, please contact us via stackteamapp.com and we'll be glad to assist.